Hey, welcome everyone to another iOS video. In this video, I am going to uh, show you a dictionary feature uh, that has existed in iOS for the longest time as far as I can remember. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to cover uh, just a variety of applications real quick to demonstrate this feature. Um, the feature is called Define and the way you access it is um, I'm going to open Safari right now and let's say I'm in an article here I am on bbc.com but here you know if I'm in an article and I come across something where I want to use the dictionary for a particular word or something let's say in this case I'll tap on a word and hold it and you know it will select that word and you can see next to the word next to the copy um, selection you also have define now if you tap on define it will go ahead and open up the built-in um, iOS dictionary now um, uh, it, with recent iterations uh, and updates of iOS I noticed that Apple also allowed you to manage your dictionary so on the lower left corner you can tap on manage and then you know you can download um, uh, different dictionaries so I thought that was a very nice touch um, so let me go back so this was in Safari and then um, let me back out of here and then let me show you Engadget real quick um, and in Engadget I have another like article opened up let's say I wanted to tap on a particular word um, and you know find um, the dictionary uh, definition of it I can tap define again and there we have it so um, you know I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was really um, uh, a nice feature and then let me go back and I'll show you the mail application down below, Apple's mail application. So like right now, here I am in Google's uh, um, email. So let's say I tap on people, hold it, let go, and I can tap define again. And there we have it. So I'm showing you a variety of applications. It works pretty much across iOS. Um, and then Flipboard is the last one I want to show. And I kept Flipboard for the last because uh, there's a bit of an uh, uh, in interesting thing with Flipboard. So here I am, I'm going to tap on this article and I'm going to read it. Now you see how this article doesn't have that flip animation, it's just scrolling up and down. Now if I was to tap on a word here and let go, I can pull up the dictionary just fine. But let me go back real quick and let me pick another article where it's not scrolling up and down but rather it flips. So see how this one has a flip animation? In this one I noticed um, that you cannot just hold uh, and tap a particular word to pull up the dictionary so that's the only limitation I've seen but I think these are like third-party limitations um, and not really Apple limitations so there you have it uh, I hope you find use for this feature thank you very much and I will catch you in the next one